Good evening to all of you. Yes, my uh, uncle Fred yes. is the manager for this home. Oh, okay. well. Yes, actually, he started the whole thing. And a bigger organization came out of here called African Ghana. Yes, African Ghana came as a result of next generation home called uh, Cha Center for Child Development. Okay. He is Fred Felix Aminga Etsko. So you call him Uncle Fred in short. So Uncle Fred, this um actually um young in yes. yeah. uh, I think last year somewhere I have a sister in law in Accra, whom you know, a Canadian and yeah. uh, connected me to one of her friends called uh, uh, Elizabeth. So Elizabeth spoke with me. You remember last year I called you and I was asking for some information. So they said they wanted to come and visit some orphanages and then donate some sanit some of these things to them and then uh, they will educate them on reproductive health rights. So it last year unfortunately they were not able to come to one or two visits. But this year and today they are here. They are making this uh, little uh, I mean it's it's not little, it's big. But when you are talking, we always say little. Uh-huh. They are making yeah. this donation to the house here or the home. We know when they get more, they'll bring it to us. So that is why they are here. We have medical students with them. We have other entrepreneurs, workers. We have volunteers. We have pastors here. So they are here. They'll be doing some prayers with them. And they said after here, they'll go and speak with them. And they'll give us more information on the reproductive rights. So that is why we do. So I'm kind of a... Uh, and they are errant space. Intermediary. Nice, safe brown Yes. So that is why we are here Thank you, Sarah. So there are two more of the talking. Yes, sir. So it's very nice to meet you, Uncle Fred. And we are very happy to be here. We've had this thing on, on our heart and minds for quite some time. And finally, we've been able to do it. So we are happy to be here at the Center for Child Development and we hope to have a short session with you like we said and then we will share some of these things to uh, our young ladies here and then also educate them on reproductive health and all of that and then we'll take it from there all right thank you very much so uh center for child development is a child protection organization um like uh, we said we started in 1997 in a small place as we have shown you when we we're turning at the organizers' places oh, yeah. on your right. That's where we started a small project. It was initiated by the Catholic Charismatic Renewal Prayer Group in the Sacred Heart particular. Oh, yeah. And then as processes went on, we have developed this stage. Um, currently we have um, four five programs that we run here. We have the residential care program, we have the educational support program, we have a vocational training support program. We have a drop-in and support, uh, drop-in and child and support program. Okay. And we have a home-based care program that we run. I've gone to school and you wouldn't have all of them here now. But we have a total number of over 200 children that this project is taking care of. And uh, we are grateful that you have come to share your love with us. And uh, uh, we hope that your time with us here uh, will be fruitful. You are most welcome. Thank you very much. So for the next day, we'll move to okay. so, um, any of the classroom spaces that we can have okay. for our session. Uh, should we sit here or here? Where do we sit? Okay. Okay. The lights are apart now. Hmm? Oh. Check us. Oh, I can't hear you. Hello, everybody. Hello. If you are here, wave your hands. Let me see your hands. Let me see your hands. Wonderful, wonderful. So, my name is Benjamin, 
and I'm here on behalf of the Glitch Out Initiative team. I work with Derek, Elizabeth, and then Eddie Nam, Joseph, and then Nanaichi, okay? But not all of them could be here, so I am here. Can anyone tell me my name if you were listening? Who remembers my name? Benjamin. Thank you very much. His name is Benjamin. So he gets a gift. So in this our session today, anyone who answers a question gets a gift, okay? All right. Wonderful. So before we start, we are going to pray. So let's all close our eyes and say a short prayer. All eyes closed, all eyes closed, all eyes closed. Closed. Father, we thank you for today. We thank you for our lives. We thank you for this institution and all the facilitators that are here. We pray for your grace and your mercies in this our session. We pray, oh God, that let your blessings pour on us and let us learn a lot today and become better for it. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Wonderful, wonderful. I like the response. I like the response. So today, we initially came here to talk about the reproductive health, okay? But seeing how we are and who we are here, we are going to talk about health in general, okay? We are going to talk about health in general. So we are talking about being clean, physically clean, keeping your mind abreast, okay? So learning, when you go to class, you have to sit and actually learn, right? Washing your mouth, brushing your teeth. Eh? Let me see, everybody do that. Everybody do that. I am seeing a lot of colors. Eh? Why are some people hiding their teeth? <laughs> Why are some people hiding their teeth? Yeah, so we are going to talk about general hygiene, okay? So we are going to do that in the next two minutes. We have some very, very special ladies with us, okay? They know everything about hygiene, yeah? everything health. So they are going to take us to a very short talk about how to keep yourself very clean in order to make sure that you are healthy all the time. Okay? All right. Wonderful. So just give me a second and I'll be with you shortly. When you wake up in the morning, what's the first thing that you do? Uh -huh. The one in the yellow. You wash your face and brush your teeth. That's good. So you get one calibre. Uh -huh. Now everybody wants to answer a question. Eh? <laughs> okay. When you are done, when you are done washing your face and brushing your teeth, what do you do? I want a boy. You. You bath. Hey, somebody taught you. Who said a bath? You didn't raise your hand. We'll give you toffee. If you had raised your hand, we'd have given you calico. So you will try again, eh? Okay, so when you finish bathing, then what do you do? Um, boy, girl, boy. Girl, girl. You greet your parents, okay, you get that one too. Yeah, give her a calico. And then, okay, girl, so boy. You apply for it. You apply for it. No, you've got one already. We'll give you a We'll give you toffee. We'll give you toffee. <laughs> and then, let me pick someone from there. Okay, you, have you, no, you've got one already. I want someone who has got one. Hey, this boy, I like your face. If somebody has already said it. You sweep your compound. I like that. Give me one calibre. Sweep your compound. If your compound is very big, you sweep for a long time. Eh? <laughs> now, you've got one already. I want someone who has got one. Boy, girl. You will eat. That's good. After you brush and you bath, what do you do? You will eat. <laughs> okay. And then, this one is last one, eh? Last one, girl, boy, boy. Who should I call? Yo, yo, yo. This one is very quiet. You wear your clothes. Good. I was waiting for that one. Because all of you so far, you've been naked, yeah? <laughs> After you bath, you've been naked. <laughs> so you wear your clothes. Okay, last one. When you wear your clothes, where do you go? Uh, everybody knows you go to school. Uh, it is good that you go to give me, give me like four. Give me like four. So since everybody was answering, I am going to throw it. Don't spoil any of the the, the pieces. 
Okay, no, it's not going to be safe. <laughs> okay, let me choose at random. You are like me something, no. Take one. And then okay. And then who are you? You've got in Calibo, you want to get everything. You want to get. I'm here to talk to you guys today about hygiene and how to take control of your family. Please, do you have your permission? Say yes! Yes! Okay, so who knows about hygiene? Who can say something little about hygiene? Okay, so. Sorry, tell us about hygiene. What do you do about hygiene? Okay, that's the thing to for me. Okay, who else can talk to us about hygiene? What's your name? Let's go hide with the door. Okay, that's the thing. Clap for him. Okay, last place. Last place. Okay. What's your name? Yes, sir. Okay, we shall tell us about hygiene. Okay, that's it. Clap for him. So all of you know about hygiene. That's it. So we will talk to you about some things that you can do to keep your body clean, just as they are all safe. Okay, so I'll start to when you do Right when you do up. Can you hear me? Yes. Can you guys hear me? Bathing, you are done brushing your teeth, bathing, and then you 
who helps around the house? Maybe you have you have a chore you do when when you are done you know, when you wake up from bed. Do you do anything around the house? Do you do anything around the when you wake up? What do you do? You sweep the compound. You sweep the compound. You do something. Yes. What do you do? You go down. In the room, you sweep your room. Okay. What do you do? Let's have, let's have those chairs. Wow. Nice. What do you do? Can I take it? What do you do? Let's have them. Let's go there. So, on, be, on behalf of the children, my colleagues, the staff, I want to say thank you. May God bless you. Amen. of the medical team for Glee Child Initiative and this trip has been very very inspiring so far like I get to meet a lot of nice people and good people and good team um, or team members yes and um, a lot of philanthropists too like wow people are really doing great work and I wish to be part one day to also help other kids to also bring happiness to other children too yeah thank you for this opportunity. Boyango asene se magire mtu se ya sana na na kwa cheche mbe. Boyango asene se magire mtu se ya sana na na kwa cheche mbe. Boyango asene se magire mtu se ya sana na na kwa cheche mbe. Come 
Kofi. Welcome to you. Rebecca. Rebecca is from Zara. 
There are many. Yeah. Around parks and gardens, you see Prosper and Group. Prosper has a shop, he's an electrician. Martin has his own shop. He's, he's manning a lot of businesses. And other children that I, I, I wasn't able to get records of all those children. Sometimes some of them meet me today and tell me stories. I, I don't even remember that I did this or that for you. That is the inspiration. We are talking about Eunice. Eunice is now around Brazza area. She's teaching there. She's a French teacher. Very soon she will do her degree. Uh, Michael, the very first one that we met, even before we got married. Michael is now at the Oliver Technical University. There's another uh, woman. Uh, uh, Michael is studying uh, 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 the uh, uh, So we are both at the Technical University. Uh, 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 the Timothy graduated from Tech. He's now in his own buildings. Other others are still at the senior high school and the technical school, some of the junior high schools. Yeah. Yeah, so, many of them. so when you come to the home, you don't see what is happening. But when you sit and you move out with us, you understand the impact we have in society. And the thing about that is that we don't talk. We don't have stories. We that it is something that we have to do a fun to my story. But uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, somebody came here. Because usually, uh, that is rather small. That is one of those who are established. Because we said we don't want to be a burden to anybody. Nobody asks you to go and start a home. So when you start a care like that, a home like this, then you should think about what to do to sustain that thing. So we don't sit down, we are there roaming up and now we're going to radio stations and calling people, help us, help us. Nobody asks us to come and establish a home. That is our perspective. Yeah. So we started our school so that we can use it to fund. Uh, but we have realized that the way the project is expanding, at those days we used to have children just at the grade school, primary school. But today you have them. They give you the fee alone, uh, then you run away. Yeah. They pay in thousands. Mm -hmm. yeah. And we have, we have also bought our own children. They are also in the senior high schools and all that. Wow. So the burden is becoming very huge. But still, we don't need to run around to look for people to come and so somebody stepped in here and said, no, 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 you are doing a very wrong thing. Because any time I call you, you tell me you're at the hospital. Any time I call, yo, I'm just doing the research, or I call you and you're talking about yeah. What is happening? So he decided to follow up. That is uh, the director of Victory Academy. Oh, okay. Great Victory Academy. Uh, um, Mr. Akuba. So Akuba said, no, I have to follow you and see what you are doing. So when he came here, he stepped in and said, hey, don't tell him that this is what is happening in Bolga here. And you are so quiet. I said, yeah. You don't even have a signboard. I said, no. <laughs> Nobody even knows it's a home. Yeah. I said, yes. I said, okay. Why? I said, no, that is the way. We want it to be a natural place. We don't want our place to be like an institution that you arrive, you come inside a set of laws, boards, what and what. We don't believe in that. We believe in providing that love and care. So when you come in here, it's more or less like a family. You cannot differentiate my children from the children that are here. If I bring them together, you will never choose our children. You understand? That is the way we try to put up this place. So it looks more like a natural home, a family house, where we do so many things together as a family. I said, no, Felix, I like your idea, but no, 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 you are wrong. You cannot continue. When you people had it inside you, that we want to do this, that was your idea. But the moment the first child stepped into the house, this is to Before we realized, he went out. Joy TV came here. Wow. There's a there's a video. They they played it all around the world. People even called us from US, UK, and all those things to congratulate us. Wow. See, that so good. that is that is what we are doing. We look very small, very little. When you enter here, many of our things are unstructured, but it doesn't affect the role we here unless you sit with people who understand. Wow. So basically, that is what we do. We have our workers here. Uh, we have the nannies program to work with the children. Most of our children, as we realized that in Bulgaria here, those days we had the Anglican Baby's Home, but the home was closed. I think around the early 2011, then about. Yeah. Then we have Next Generation Home. Yeah. Next Generation Home. Yeah. Uh, that 
was started by the Catholic Charismatic Renewal. Yeah, yes, the one. Yeah, yeah. Brother Fred is uh, is neighbor of mine, and their focus is on street children. It is when the child survives to a particular level that the child can be on the street. Yeah. But That's most true. of the children we are targeting now die even before they get to that stage. So you don't even hear about them. Yeah. A lot of them get killed. Yes. Because how many of us think about these women that handle these children? You see a pregnant a, 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 a woman that is insane and carrying a pregnancy. Oh. Where, okay. where, where do they go? You know the other mother is yeah. no more alive. Which one? She gave birth, I've forgotten her, like the Moshi woman. When she gave birth, she turned the child this way and yeah. back to the yeah. child. Yeah. And the child cried well. and died. Yeah. They wanted to follow the child and she was Yes, yeah. most of those things. So sometimes we go out there, we even you can see us move with the police even in the night. Mm. Because sometimes you have to go to certain places to rescue the children. We have done a lot of rescues. What of them are going to and then see their foundation. It is not too good. Some of them get to a point that they just have to lose them. What do they do? The one came here recently, somebody, one young lady. You know, I just heard a few people and I'm taking this pregnant. Right we don't know what to do. So we said, okay, you go to future welfare. And they went to the welfare. They said, we don't have anything. We can't do anything about it. She just has to manage. So we have to bring her back. So we have to accommodate her here. Then we uh, called the psychiatric nurse. He came around. After handling her for about a week, we for the family. She's from the family channel. Thank you.
My name is Posha Osei Berima and I'm part of the medical team. So this has been a very nice experience for me. I mean, this is the first time I've actually traveled this far and then I've actually gotten to see so many nice things and I really appreciate it. And then seeing children smile when you do these things for them, they are really satisfactory. You actually feel like you are doing something good for the country, for the world when you see these things. So I really like the Child Initiative. I like all the members here. They are very hospitable and I really like everyone that is here. And I'll be really happy to join in any other initiative that you guys have in mind. Okay, thank you very much. They are all Christians. Good morning to all of us. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Okay, so we are lucky to be it's one of the blessed days that they all make And uh, we have nothing but thank you for uh, all the support. That we have. Are you working on the? Are you working on the questions? <laughs> okay. Glee Child Initiative. Glee Child Initiative. So maybe uh, to allow them to introduce themselves, but before then. Oh, thank you too. Okay. Sure. All right, great. Thank you, too. So, hello, everyone. How are we doing? Wonderful. So, my name is Benjamin. Yes. Oh, that would be great. That would be very good. That would be good. <laughs> we welcome you into our home today. Into our home today. Into our home today. We welcome you into our home today. We are so happy to have you here. We are so Wonderful, wonderful. <laughs> Thank you. Wow, that was a great song. <laughs> we are also happy to be here as well. So we are from Glee Child Initiative, and then um, Glee Child is an NGO that is passionate about reducing child poverty and then also the zero hunger policy, right, from the SDG goals. Today we are here to spend some time with you and then specifically to talk about reproductive health, okay, especially for our young ladies who are um, about the same age and all of that. So I'm going to say a short prayer and then we start for today. So can we all close our eyes? Father, we thank you for today. We thank you for life and we thank you for strength. We thank you for the grace that has brought us this far. We pray that as we are doing this, we are doing this in your name. 
let your grace and your blessings accompany what we do today in jesus name we pray amen amen wonderful so thank you so to begin uh, we'd like to ask if anyone knows anything about reproductive health anything any general thing about reproductive health you can just raise your hands and then we go ahead What's that? Do they say reproductive health? The way you are smiling. <laughs> oh, no one wants to tell me anything. <laughs> okay. We have all right, sure. So. Just the same way you don't want to answer me. Me too, I don't know the answer to the question. So, <laughs> so, but we have two people here who know the answer to the question. These are our medical team. They are going to take us to a short time. They will also be asking questions. So please, you have to answer the questions. We have Calipo and Toffees as gifts for those who answer the questions. If you don't answer, you won't get some. You who is smiling at me. <laughs> What's your name? Laurentia. You are my first friend here. If you don't answer any questions, you won't get any Calipo. Right, so we want to, as, as all to be as engaging as possible. We'll do maybe two or three things and then we'll take some photos and then we'll be done here. Would that be okay? All right, so when we say reproductive, what is male and Okay, so they're talking about talking about your. Okay, vagina itching. Clap for him. Yeah, you have one already, so. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What is the name of the male reproductive organ that produces hair? Very good. Clap for him. I think one of the males are asking for the female. <laughs> Which of the following is not a symptom of menstruation? Cramps, mood swings, sore throats, bloating. Which of them is not a symptom of menstruation? Cramps, mood swings, sore throats, bloating. Okay, very good. Clap for her. So we are going to um, give you more details about how we are going to go about it. It's going to be mainly monthly meetings. We will be bringing um, maybe one or two nurses to come and talk to you about sorry, reproductive health, how to keep yourself neat. You can ask more questions as you go along. Maybe something happened during that month, your cycle, this, your cycle, that. You can talk about all of that. So it's going to be a safe haven or a safe place for people to talk about it. And for the young girls, you know, let's share and your friends. You can invite other friends for the club meeting. We may think of having it on a Saturday so that other people can come and join and talk about it and all of that. Would that be okay? Wonderful. So can we clap our hands again for the reproductive health club? That's wonderful. So I think. Yeah. 
All right, so at this point, we are going to have a short session of icebreakers. Okay, so we are going to sing first, and then we are going to play something called flip the flip the bottle, right? Uh, flip the bottle. So our gentleman here will handle that. So play song. Are you ready with the song? Yeah. Everybody say happy. 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 All right. So let's start. This one, everybody. My head, my shoulders, my knee, my head. Everybody has to do it. Are you ready? Yeah, yeah get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. I just shake now, so, okay? So, are you ready? One, two, go. My head, my shoulders, my knees, my toes, my head, my shoulders, my knees, my head, my shoulders, my knees, my head, my shoulders, my knees. life are very very uh, much of a lesson that I think <laughs> we all have to sit down think about it elaborate and experience it's been nice so far we've had a chance to see the children what they go through what they eat how they live and everything that comes with it we thank Glitch out for giving us this opportunity for us to also experience this and have a story to tell thank you Glitch out thank you